Sorry folks, I forgot to open up uh, TeamSpeak. I was like, what the hell? Why is it so damn quiet? Connected. Channel switched. User left your channel. Seven one radio track. Bring me Charlie. User left your channel. User joined your channel. User left your channel. Can you hear me? User joined your channel. Can can you hear me? This is five two. Don't be in my head just for a moment. Wait for. Viewers, marshals to Patrick Sullivan. Hello. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm at the outside parking lot, not the tower. Yeah, I can I'm, press uh, escape and get out of the call, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. I'm All coming right, to you right. now, but yeah, fucking right. sheriff's department pulled some people over in the middle of the fucking road, so I have to go around and do a square. 
There's all kinds of drama going on at the airfield. I can't see, of course, because it's absolutely horribly fuzzy. But like the hangar was on fire. There's fire department and sheriffs around. I yeah, I just need some food. I can't see anything. This is annoying. Well, I'm gonna come pick you up, and we can find where the hell the food went. And yeah, I'm telling you, you walk right in the supermarket, and there's a uh, two furniture NPCs. And at the time it took me to look at two chairs and figure out it wasn't food, I turned around and someone had stolen the FAA truck. Like, that quick, dude. Dan had to have known that was gonna happen. I mean, you know. Hoping those are your headlights are coming in. Yeah, that's me. User left your okay, I'm coming. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, hello. I'm gonna hang up the. Yeah, well, wait. Let me let me park. That, like, oh, yeah, you gotta hang on, hang on. Let me just park the fucking car. Okay, yes, you can make that siren stop. You just have to go open up the shop for the, the fisherman shop. I'm going to drop you a burger so that you can see again, and we're going to go over there and try to find food. Okay, I don't know what's up with that siren, but yeah. It's been I, going I just for told like you hour. what's up with that siren. Well, I know. It's been going for like an hour and a half, two hours. Yes, the, it bugs out, and you have to go talk to the fisherman guy. The fisherman shop over there across from the bank. If you open up his shop window, it goes away. It's a weird ass bug and they haven't fixed it yet, but yeah, it's annoying. I hear it too until we go talk to that guy. Yeah, like I didn't hear it earlier, but then when I came back, I oh wow. All right, so once you down those two burgers, uh, hop in. Oh, I can see. Wow, now what's going on over here? Oh, jeez, nothing now. Trying to not let the fact that I probably should talk like this. Probably, uh, you know. Hang on one second. Captain's talking on a frequency. Did that not go through? E 719, actually, yes. Yes, sir, it did. But could you repeat? Sorry, I have this siren in my ear. I will be in a meeting with Chiefs for a few minutes, so I am off comms. Understood, sir. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god, that's so fucking annoying. Right. I don't know what causes it, but that, that happens Easy sometimes. And the only way to fix it is going and opening up the fisherman shop. So we'll do that first, before I rip my fucking hair out of my head. User I'm trying to figure channel. out how to make driving User not a complete your channel. slide show on, on this server. It's really Did hard. you turn grass off? Uh, let me look. You gotta do that every time you get in the in the server. Where the heck is it? It's under the ATOC, right? What? No, 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 no. On your phone. Your channel. Press G, and then go to your settings menu. But get out of the car so I can lock it. I don't want to be in public when it's this chaotic in my fucking CG uniform because I'm going to get shot at. It's pretty much inevitable. I'm just trying to bide my time right now. Right. After I finish up helping you, I'm planning on going on duty, but... This is the general shop. Um, fisherman shop should be... User joined your channel. User left your channel. This is it. Yep, and then just go, uh, I would like to access the shop. Then you can get out of there. Oh, it's done. Okay. You're welcome, world. It is the weirdest thing I know. Are you... Wait, wait we, we still gotta get food. I'm gonna look in here and see what the hell's going on with that. 
Um, he's selling food for me. Damn it. I only had 400, so yeah. Well, we'll go over the bank there real quick. You should have... Are you clocked in on FAA? Like, are you... No, I'm just a trainee. I'm not whitelisted yet. Oh, shit. That's right. well, why the fuck are you not whitelisted yet? Jesus Christ. I'm still a trainee. No, it doesn't matter. If As a trainee, you're, you're working for the FAA. You're in FAA uniform doing the FAA job. You should be clocked in. But you can't clock in without being whitelisted, so... Right. So, yeah, I should have a couple of paychecks at the bank, but right now, as long as I can see and stuff, I just like to get back to the airport as quickly as possible so we don't all die. That's about where I'm at right now. I'm just making sure that I have all the supplies that I need. Like I said, 15, 15. Um, I don't have much money on me either, so I have to run over to the bank. I'm just going to walk real quick, and then I'll pull some money out for you so you have some, some pocket cash as well. Thank you. Well, I need to go to the bank too because it's, I It's just right here. Yeah. Jaywalking right, Sean, is We're gonna illegal. keep talking on the phone so no one can hear us, dude. They can still hear us. Well, yeah. You still talk out loud. Okay, so if you have you ever signed your paycheck before, just talk to this guy and then click. Oh. I would like to sign my paycheck. You want to do that oh, before? Two fifty. Yeah, 250. So you must not have been on for uh, on very long. Not this time. No, I logged off a couple of times. I had to. I had no choice. Yeah. Kids were freaking. Well, as a civilian or unemployed, you get $250 every 20 minutes. Um, once you're FAA, you should get about 1200 or $1,250 every 20 minutes, which is worth getting your it's paycheck, tough. especially when you don't have um, any money to begin with. Now, if I withdraw the money, I could get it stolen from me if I have it on me, right? No, but if you die, you lose it. Granted, if you die, you have about four or five minutes for EMS to show up before you actually die. Right. So, <laughs> the only way you're going to lose your money is if you are flat out dead. Or, I mean, you could be robbed and told to drop cash, but... I mean, well, actually, I'm not really, I don't think they can do that, to be honest with you. Well, it's a moot point, because I ain't got shit anyway. <laughs> anyway. Regardless, all right, uh, give me a second, I'm trying to do math, and I'm terrible at math. Whatever, we'll call that good. Okay, let's go back. We're going to go to the airfield um, because the only way to transfer money, aside from a wire transfer, is to actually physically drop it on the ground. So let's yeah. go back to a place uh, where there's um, not people. Yeah. And I'm going to need a drink here shortly too. Damn it. Well, yeah, we're going to go back over here and you're going to buy some Coke. Yep, I know. I'm just got to, yeah. User left your channel. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I thought you were User taking the car. Are you not taking the car? No, we gotta. You have to get food and drink. I thought you said you were going to the airfield first, damn. What is your fucking Alright, right here on the ground, you'll just have to use whatever key to use, probably right, space boy, muscle, just, uh, and pick up that. $6,500, that should be enough to get you 5 or 10 of each, that way you have some. 
once you start once you're whitelisted and you can actually get your start getting your paychecks you can buy i try to keep 15 food and 15 coke on me at all times um and then if it drops below five i'll buy more or if it's convenient and i happen to be near here Sorry, you got to say that again. I had the ATC radio in my ear. Yep. Um, that should be enough for you to buy five or ten of each uh, burger and Coke. I usually try to keep 15 of These each on me, and once it drops below five, or if it's convenient and I just happen to be near These here, I'll talent. buy more to at least have 15, but you don't lose food and water too quickly, so you should be okay. Um, I believe running with your shift muscle held down makes it go down quicker yeah it does okay seven and five that'll work for now yep and once you're whitelisted and you have you know consistent money coming in as long as you pick up your paycheck like I said if you don't pick up your paycheck it goes away Right. User left your channel. Again, well, I mean, User joined your channel. Field, it's not going to be hard to remember that. Right. I mean, it might take a couple extra minutes, but just be conscious before you go to sleep or get offline that um, right. you want to leave a little earlier so you can go pick up your paycheck before you go. Well, let's User go back to the airfield and see channel. if I'm whitelisted yet. Yeah, uh, I'm good now. The uh, car's over here. the airfield's the safest way for you to get there. I'll be in the tower, so I'll be able to... Well, I'm going to go hit by the paint shop real quick and paint my car. Cool. User left I was there anyway. What you can do is, we can go back to the airfield. You can go to CG through the airfield. I'll clear you to cross the taxiways and stuff. You can just use the taxiways to get back to CG. That works for me. I mean, generally you don't want to enter CG from the airfield, but I mean, it's not it's not a huge Dan deal. Dan had to do it to get his plane out of CG storage for some reason. I don't. I'm That's sure probably why. because the User airfield storage has been bugged lately. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. User left your channel. Because obviously there's a separate garage that you need to use for um, aircraft compared to vehicles. So grass dithering or whatever, all the way to the right, right? Yes. Okay, car's painted. Makes the biggest difference. It really does. I get at least five or ten more frames. Yeah, like I wish I remembered that because this, like, it's not, it's not drivable. When I'm driving around, it's a side yeah, yeah, no, I cannot drive. No, like uh, this is manageable. That is not. When I log I got in, pulled over earlier, and I was like, shit, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna hit him. Yeah. Uh, when, the first thing I do when I get in is I holster my weapon, I open my phone, cut the grass down. And then I set my radio to CG frequency. Then I'm good to go, but no sooner. Right. Those three things are inevitable for me. I have to. It's weird with the ATC radio. Some shit's really loud, some's really soft. You never know. They must be using Unicom right now. Uh, no, the tower. The tower. Um, uh, yeah. okay. Or can you go in there? Are you uh, yeah, allowed to go in there? I, I, I can. I mean, it's not it's like. dropping me off. Not a big deal. Right. I'm going to switch to 130 and see if Unicom is in operation. What? No, 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 no. We don't use 130 for Unicom. I know it's what SOPs say, but that's not what they do. They use Tower for Unicom. That's what I thought, but yeah, the SOPs say different. Yeah, I, I know. The, the SOPs say 130 is for Unicom, but the reason being is if a Tower does come on, right. you know. It, it makes more sense to keep it on one frequency than do it. Too, yeah. Right. So we're going on 130 while they're flying to get on 126, and it's a pain in the ass. Right. As opposed to if you're just go on 126 and say, okay, tower is active. And I'll tell you, at places that have a tower and a Unicom setup, it's on left Unicom is User universally 122.0. Um, yeah, the asshole probably left. Hold on. Um, um, okay. So, oh, there's a parking lot over here. I get it. Okay. Yeah, I thought lot. you were just driving across the airfield to get to it. No, 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 no. I would just said drop me off over here by the tower because I would have had to walk the same way we drove. I can't walk through fences, right? I'm not a superhuman. User left well, your right. Tower. I, I thought you just drove up and parked next to the tower, like literally parked next oh. to the tower in the grass. I didn't realize there was a parking lot over here. 
That's new. Yep. I feel so much safer on the airfield when I'm so close I to know. home. Anyway, do you know if you're allowed to let me see the inside of that tower? Well, actually, there's another FA over here. I don't have your name, sir. Chief Warrant Officer Zane Cora, nice to meet you. How's it going, sir? Pretty good. I uh, just given Mr. Kane here a ride back to the airfield. I was wondering um, if I could potentially see the inside of that tower. I'm kind of curious what kind of systems you got up there for your air traffic control. Oh, yeah, come on up, man. User joined your channel. It was chaos earlier today. It was great. User was moved out of your channel. I don't so think I've been whitelisted yet. Let me check on the NPC. Yeah, I've never actually seen this before. I've spent enough time on the airfield doing Coast Guard stuff, but never actually seen like the tower or anything. Well, uh, nothing really up there. It's just the view is up there. Everything that we use is like um, either on our map or e-muscle. I see. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask it's if your. Uh, I was gonna ask if your actual uh, radar was a part of your Google Glass or if it was a physical like stand up here. This. I was going to say, why is there just a table in the middle of... <laughs> right. Okay. It makes getting up there a little difficult. Wow, okay. We got a pretty good view of the airfield up here. I thought, I felt like it would be oh, higher up here than it is, though. Can I possibly try hey to get a tow truck down here and here. tow this truck away from wall. outside of our gate? I, I feel like there should probably there be a door there. A pink Dodge Ram out here I feel like I should probably uh, get my before he But yeah, away. I, I found that out by accident. User now you can run all the way off. Just uh, that's not what we can oh. do. Oh. Do wait for right right there. I'm not whitelisted yet. I understand that, but can I try and contact the tow truck driver to come out here and take it away? Let me sit. Oh, so your your guys' vendor has range finders. We don't. I don't think we have them in the in the vendor. Well, I gotta say, I kind of expected you guys to have more of a system up here. Like it's I was thinking, it would be uh, a message. What was that? Yeah, if you could see our Google Glass, you'd be impressed. The radar system's actually pretty cool. I've seen right. uh, streams of it. It looks awesome. Does ADIS work yet? I can't yeah, pick I mean, up the range finder, by the way, because of the locality owner error. No, you got to go to your eye inventory. It's eye inventory. Oh, thank you. I'm a noob. That's all good. I didn't even know you could walk through that wall, so I guess we're even. <laughs> nice. Yep, and then My name's Jeff Kane, by the way. Your in muscle uh, will turn on your night vision on those. And then if you press uh, your T muscle, which unfortunately also opens up your Twitter panel, you can get ranges. That is cool. They should be. User left your channel. Tower. User left your channel. User joined your channel. Alrighty, so are you going to be on ground or air, or are you going to be on the uh, frequency? Take the towers. I'll park mine over there in the parking lot. Yeah, I was going to see if uh, if anyone was going to take tower. I would I would hop in and do it. I'm not too busy. I'm just asking because I'm probably once I clock in for Coast Guard, I'm probably going to take my Jayhawk up. 
Nice. So like I patrol. said, I don't, I don't have access to the radar and all that stuff because I'm not whitelisted. But I do have a piece of paper, and I'm fairly good doing it, so I think I should be able to handle it. I did for a couple hours earlier. Yeah, we need to get you whitelisted. We need to get you whitelisted, my friend. I don't even know who to talk to. It, other than Tom or, or uh, I Jonathan, believe, but they're both so damn busy, I really don't want to bar bother I them at all. I believe an executive has to do it. I don't know if it necessarily matters if they're FAA affiliated or not, just as long as they have the good word from uh, Jonathan or whoever, if they can find you on the roster and see that you are, in fact, uh, FAA. Any executive should be able to whitelist you since that is a, an, an island function, not an FAA function to whitelist. But I'm not in a position to go and ask one of them to do it for me, right? Uh, you'd have to get approved by somebody higher up, probably. Like, someone would have to say, hey, can you whitelist uh, Right, Jeff? that's what I'm saying. Right. That's right. what I'm saying. Probably if you're on the roster, bounds. they'd probably do it, but I wouldn't be the one to ask personally. Right. It's not a huge deal other than the radar would be seriously helpful with the squat codes. Like I could tell who's on the ground, who's in the air, and where on the airport they are without having to run around this tower. You know. A little harder. Well, right. You know, like especially like the other day we had uh, Coast Guard flight uh, formation flight, so we had five Jayhawks up. You have no idea who's who, wow. but we had five of them over there. Right. I mean, all I have right now is a list with all the call signs that are up in the air that I'm aware of, and you know that's all I got. I'm whitelisted, but like I don't even I don't even need to to use like the radar and shit because I'm just a CFI. We're User like reverse roles. Channel. We should User have my functions, and I don't need. I don't need them. I'd be fine without them. I think that um, now I'm not sure exactly so how federal right? government uh, feels about it, but I'm pretty sure that since you are whitelisted and he is in fact FAA, I think you could, if he gave you the money, you could buy it and give it to him, and that would be fine. But don't quote me on that. Is it like an item that's giving me functionalities? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with how FAA systems work. I was User under the impression it was channel. an item that you would buy from the FAA vendor. User left your channel. No, like the airplane, like when you pull User your, path, your you channel. just see like the airplanes, and then when you press your e muscle, you get the radar. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's yeah. yeah it's probably not an item then. It's, yeah, yeah. The it's only, the only it's item is this though. backpack. The JTAC thing. Right. He's taxing the 25, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm aware of 25 and runway 7 because those are the two that Coast Guard uses. This other one's, this is what, 3 0 and 9? 3 0 and 1 2. And 1 2, okay. Yeah, there's 7 User 2 left 5 and, and, uh, 12 and 3 or 1 2 and 3 0. Most people will call in and they'll ask for runway seven, and then I've heard some controllers tell them no because apparently it's the CG runway. What, what, what doesn't really make sense. No, it really doesn't. I mean, the only concern like is a, when they take a off. Public airfield. Right. The only concern I have as Coast Guard is that when they take off from runway two five, they need to be instructed to bank left immediately upon. Uh, passing those radio antennas there because our helipads are on the directly other side of that. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. I I know I know. whenever I take off 2-5, I'm always afraid I'm going to spook CG. It's not that you're going to spook us, necessarily. It's over. Right. I mean, that's the thing. Is that they're supposed to you're take a... Good. Supposed to take a left bank, but if you're taking off, off and the ship. pilot doesn't User know. Left User left your channel. channel. Right. Well, I mean, that's your job as air traffic control. But you know, if we're on Unicom, then it's kind of just hoping that the pilot heard you, and is actually on the frequency. So, I use a joystick when I fly, and like my thumb button, like I got like a little button for my thumb, and I use that for push to talk, obviously. But I didn't know, I didn't realize it, but it was also bound for uh, speed break. So when I was doing a flight lesson the other day, I was taking cool. off from two five. And I was holding down like the speed brake and the push to talk because I was like talking as I was taking off. I was like, why the hell am I Am I only going 40? That's so I'm, awkward. Like, at the, I'm, I'm at like the end of the runway, dude. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Because I've taken off, you know, plenty of times. I fucking, ba I banked it left. I got out the air and I banked it like all the way, like as hard as I could because if I didn't, my right wing was going to clip that 
radio tower over there. And I was like, well, that was awkward as hell because, yeah, like I said, I had the speed brake held down the entire time I was going down the runway. <laughs> yeah, my speed brake and my push to talk were the same button. So, fix that, though. These people need to stop parking their helis over here. I think it was Mr. Rolex. I saw him pull out a gun, too, when he got out of his heli. Oh, I mean, you can't help that so much. I mean... I wish that the feds would fix that, honestly. So that fix what? every time you get out of a vehicle, your gun gets pulled out. Oh yeah, I know it's annoying. Makes it so out. obvious, like especially because I know a sheriff's department gets spooked a lot when they get people get out of cars for like a traffic stop or something. They tell them to get out of the car and they pull a gun, and it's like I mean, yeah. rightfully so. I mean that would scare me yeah. too, but that's why you, people you see them get out of the car and they're staring at the ground. Yeah. Is live. Solid copy. Alrighty. Well, I think I've, I see, I've seen what I wanted you to see. I just, curious. yeah, I, I just had never been up here before. I wanted to see what kind of stuff you got going on up here. And uh, we got a goose in the runway taken off, and they have not called into Unicom. I'm gonna go ahead and open the tower now. On this note. Uh, the goose taking off two five. Please identify. User joined your channel. Hopefully they're on the correct frequency. Yeah, they're not taking off good. He just stopped when I said that. Yeah, but Do he stopped on the active runway. Please identify yourself before taking off on the active runway. Thank you. He's not going to be able to get speed like that. What is he doing? Okay, okay. I thought he was going full throttle for a takeoff. I'm like, you don't have enough room for that, buddy. From what I've heard, the goose takes like the entire runway to get speed. Anyway, I'm uh I'm heading out of here. I'm gonna go over to CG base, clock in, and uh, try to get at least like an hour cool. in or so. I'm gonna try and get this goose to talk to me. All right, I'm gonna try and look at a co-pilot, and then hopefully go up for a patrol in the Jayhawk, so you'll hear me on the radio. Sounds good. I'm, uh, Charlie Golf 6046. Wait, say that again? Charlie Golf 6046 is my call sign. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. We still. 3 2 to any CG on the base. On, is that a plane coming into CG base, or is that an airfield? Is. Yeah, no. This is 7-1. There is a goose who was holding short of the runway to taxi off to identify himself. He is not, to my knowledge, going on CG base. User joined your channel. Seven one is approaching CG main gate in a red purple Camaro.
It's my dude, Roman. I've been waiting for your name to pop up, you know, in Slack. Uh, welcome back. I'm glad to see that you're Ooh. here. This is, this is Chuppy. Alright, alright, Chuppy. User joined your channel. Yes, sir. My Yo, I'm hugging you, I'm hugging you, I'm hugging you, I'm hugging you. It's my dude, how you doing? You're seven one. what are you, fucking captain now? No, uh, chief warrant officer. Oh. After you left, uh, within a couple of weeks I was promoted to petty officer of aviation. Um, since then, I, yeah, as of yesterday, I was chief warrant officer. Oh. Yep, so, alright, I'm gonna go put this thing in, in the uh, base and I'll, I'll come oh, back I'm to gonna gate. be a pilot too, right? Uh, hopefully I will be the one training you. I just gotta get, uh, the proper documentation. User your channel. User joined your channel. So, alrighty. I'll be back. User left your channel. User left your User channel. joined your channel. User joined your channel. User left your channel.
Seven one to Mr. Sparks. User disconnected from your channel. What's your uh, location currently? Uh, my location is uh, tasing an FBI agent. Copy that. Yeah, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to base right now. Actual's back in his head. What do we have going on? Two star training. Ten four, sir. Very good. Mm. Boo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the fed chased him and left. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit! You're seeing an apprentice, so you haven't. Yeah, got it. Headquarters in my vehicle. I'm not even doing. I, I'm not. I don't care. People can tell me to train. I'm not gonna train. I'm just gonna tell him. Stop or heave to. I tend to ward you. Semper paratus. I'm always ready. <laughs> Stuff like that. Just to get ahead copy? of the training. Yeah, yeah. I kind of had a brain fart there, if you know what I mean. You're gonna give me my tags soon. I see. No, I was my just tags. gonna ask if you were still port security, but obviously not. Well, he told me that when they give me back my shit, then I'll be automatically back in port security, but I don't want to. I want to go back. I want to go to aviation. That's the reason I joined back. We have a lot of people going to aviation here lately. Like, it was dead for the longest time, and then now we have a ton of people who are wanting to go aviation. I'm trying to watch the airfield. They were asking for help at 3-0, but I don't see shit happening on 3-0. I see Tommy over there. There's no one on the there. airfield. There's no one on the airfield. Except for Tommy. We got Jeff Kane up in the tower. And then we have a yellow Camaro and an SD officer, uh, code twos, and a red Mustang on the far side. But I, I'm curious to know what the hell this SD is doing. I'm gonna go by the gate. The further I am away from your face, the better it looks. But I don't—I don't mean that as in a bad way. I'm talking about the helmet. I'm talking to. to you're, you're not one to talk, Roman. <laughs> hey, you doing, Matt? The helmet. What I just did—I just poofed to an FBI agent, said taser, 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 and then left. Oh Jesus. <laughs> um, I don't know. Hey, taser, taser, taser. Oh, oh my, my dick, my, I, you said ass or chest, you never said dick. Same difference. Oh, Chappie, poor Chappie. I mean, maybe for you, Captain, but uh, I've got a very clear difference. Alright, but that, that's all I wanted to say to you, Mr. Sullivan. I'm very sorry to tell you that, though. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go. I, I hope there's, like, not a fool in my fill. I'm just gonna go ask him nicely. <laughs> and make sure you message him. All right, Mr. Dream, are you on duty currently? I am. I'm gonna fill out a bit of paperwork. User first, entered though. your you channel. Mean? Okay, that, that's fine. I was just going to ask if you wanted to get a Jayhawk patrol going. Uh, I'll talk to you in a minute about that. Okay. Uh, you want me to wait for you, or just go ahead? 
No, you can probably uh, go ahead for right now. Yeah, go ahead. For User right. in your channel Alrighty. timed out. He's going to be a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's see, is Christian still out of his head over here? It appears so. Mr. Sparks, you were at the gate. Do you know how long Mr. Kip's been uh, out of his head? Uh, not long enough for me to virtually kick him in the ass. I see. Okay. It's getting close to that point, but yeah. Once he does, I'll virtually kick him, but... Put on my Timberlands and just be like, boof, right in the ass cheek. Alrighty, well, I would like to get a Jayhawk patrol up. Uh, if someone who is available would like to volunteer to fill my co-pilot position, it would be appreciated. Zane, you're uh, good to fly, right? How you're looking at it. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's what I... I'm, I'll speak about it to you in a second, Zane. It's what's true. Okay. Me. That is fine. Just uh, get a hold of me whenever you're ready. All right. I'm actually once I fix my head. There we go. I'm gonna I drive don't in. I want to fight Jayhawk so bad. I'm gonna go pick up some paychecks and I'm gonna come back here and I'm pull out my uh, RBM. Sounds good, sir. And I know Nathan said he's got he's got a few personnel in the uh, kill house. Uh, yes, sir. That is my understanding. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Lancer, Mr. Lee, and Mr. Black. Good. There's nothing wrong with that. I was in there and what as well, but I wanted to inform you first about this pretty big thing. That That's I fine. Up, so. All right. You may want to move out of the way so I don't run you over. It's a privilege to get run over, though. No. I'm just kidding. I love you so, Zane. There's no way for you. Alrighty, Sparks, Gate, or Jayhawk? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Hey, Cora. The slash A I just got. Hang hey, on. I got a cool story to tell you. Like, what? Hang on, give me just a moment. Alright, I'll be back. Here, right, wait, so wait one second. Let me go ahead and mute my GoPro. When you've done all that,
be performing a northern patrol. Roger that, Shark One. Alright, sorry about that, folks. I uh, had a private conversation with one of the people in aviation, so I don't want that on GoPro since other people who play the game and are on the server do also watch this from time to time, and I don't want somebody stumbling upon it and getting sensitive information. So, my apologies, but I think we're good on that now, so we'll see what's going on. User joined your channel. User in your channel timed out. Two six is going to be out of his head for a bit to fill out some paperwork. Where's that two six? User entered your channel. Alrighty, so what's up? Why would you get in trouble for being in the tower? Because I'm playing ATC and I'm not trained, and there's somebody from FA on the... I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I wouldn't be. On. I mean, you're doing a fine job, I'd assume, so, I mean, you can still sit in the tower and, you know, listen and such. I don't, I don't see why it'd be an issue. I mean, it's not like... It, there's not a ton of other a, a, uh, FAA who operate while not trained. Well, there's a, a guy down in the ramp talking to this dude, and I gave him a squawk code, but they asked him to repeat it three different times, and I was like, it, it's squawk one, two, three, two. That's not hard. And he still didn't take off, so I, I, he didn't do anything, so I just like, screw it, you're clear to start up, and then he never started up. He's still over there talking to someone, so I don't know what's up. Um, so anyway, what are you up to? My Jayhawk is currently spooling up at CG. I was having a conversation with uh, one of my guardsmen of aviation on something uh, sensitive, so I hadn't gotten around to getting the Jayhawk up yet. Hang on one second, I gotta come over to ATC and uh, request spool up. User left your channel. Love it, ground. This is Trailer Golf 6046 requesting spool up from CG base, moving to helipads. Love it, ground. This is Trailer Golf 6046 requesting spool up from CG base, moving to helipads.
Lubbock Tower, this is Trailer Golf 6046 requesting Spoolert from CG base to move to the helipads. Charlie Golf 6046, pull up is approved. Squawk 1233. Three. Squawk 1233, three, what the hell are you talking about? I'm 7777. This is Officer Delta uh, 612. I have a car uh, doing track um, speeding on the runway. You're going to need to send CG to the airfield. I got someone racing up and down the runway. Won't stop it. I'm watching. I'm watching them. Stand by just a second, Oscar Delta 612, I got somebody on it. User if they can channel. stay off the active, it's not that huge of a deal. It looks like they're leaving now, though. Oscar Delta 612, you're clear to take off runway 25, expedite to take off due to the car. Thank you. User in your channel, time down. Did you just send them off 2-5? Do I have uh, clearance to take off on 2-5? Oscar Delta 612, uh, clear to take off from 2-5, what's that? You're clear to take off from 2-5, make sure to make a uh, left turn after takeoff to avoid the CG. Uh, anyway. okay. User left your channel. User entered your channel. Thank you. I was gonna say you just gave me approval to lift off at CG base, and they're running, taking off two five. I gave you permission to spool up, not to take off yet. Well, I'm in the air. I'm not in the air. In the air, I'm like barely hovering, but. I'm still below the tree line, so you, that that's fine. We really don't have to call for requesting to move to the helipads. I just like to to make sure nobody's taking off over me. Well, and that's good because somebody was literally taking off over you. I told them to turn hard left and they came right by the tower and turned, so they should be not a factor for you. But typically if I hear spool up for repositioning, it means you're clear to spool up, then you're going to call me before you get in the air and let me know I'm repositioning now, then I can clear the airspace for the repositioning. I wasn't clear you were actually going to do it all in one. I thought you were just calling for the spool up. My bad. No, that was that was my bad. I should have... should have said that. I was repeating what I said on ground frequency, um, not thinking that, yeah. And it looks like my FAA ground guy just caught the person and is yelling at him. Yeah, generally CG shouldn't get involved unless if they're hostile or you have no ground. So maybe it's one of them. I, they may have had sirens on the vehicle, but it's a personal vehicle, and they were going up and down the active. They were going up and down the taxiways. I can work around that. Yeah, we're doing training exercise over here, Kit. Oh, what are we doing? Four. We're out in deep water. Um, hello. Where was that? Really quick, you don't have to call a bunch so of people. So we're in tower, we're out to 6-1-2, we're going to be moving this but I sat at your by uh, Alpha you guys, to the ramp. I sat waiting for one of you guys to go over there, and none of you went over there. And I saw you moving the chopper, Copy so I figured that. We'll just come talk to you. On Alpha to the ramp. There's, uh, there's no way for me to actually directly contact you, you guys, other than fucking 911. Uh, I was sent over here because there were some dudes driving around on Where the airfield. Where are you taking your chopper to? Are you just going to uh, flying around or anywhere apparently specific? Apparently CG still deals with that. To my knowledge, uh, situations on the airfield, yes, would be a CG ordeal. However, it has to be no a radar. port security unit. The port security unit, because they have uh, land vehicles. Um, I personally oh, could Oscar do Delta Overwatch the in the Jayhawk, the however... Uh, I'm not sure who any uh, uh, the guy that gave me the stuff. 
Right. See, that's the thing. But to my understanding, it's uh, if you have FA ground active, they should be handling it, unless if they are combative or are not complying, in which case CG can come in. But it would have to be a port security unit, because most of us do not have ground vehicles. Okay. Yeah, no, there's no fucking ground on as far as I know. I'm actually a private CFI there. I'm not a full employee. Okay. Yeah. Um... And their legal rep, though. I'm also that, so. Hi. Hello. Let me... Hang on one second. Like, do you guys have any port security units online currently? Or, or sorry, on island? We have MS one MSRT that I'm aware of currently awake. I'm not sure as far as port security in particular, but I know the MSRT in question was doing training currently. I believe he still is. Do you know if that situation's code four over there? Is it still active? I got no clue. Ready. I got no clue, I don't know. It might be. It might be code for it. Might not. Like, I probably, like I said, if I drove over here, I might have had a better chance. But right. Being well, here in the first place, without one of you walking over here, was a bad move on my channel. part, anyways. User left your but I figured walking would probably. <laughs> right. Well, we're less likely to assume you're a hostile if you have the whole DMV get up, especially since I've met you before, so I know who you are. <laughs> um. Were you the guy? Were you the guy? Wait, weren't you? Were you? I was the aviation guy who came into your DMV maybe yesterday, a day before. Keep going. Okay, that explains it. Yep, you asked me if I was port secured, and, you, and I was like, nope, I'm not port secured. And you're like, damn it, oh, now yeah, I have to train yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, man. Like, that, that was that was the agreement we came to with with fucking fucking Sullivan. So. No, no you're fine. Um, that situation with the CRV on the airfield, I did observe for a moment, but it looked like he was leaving the airfield when I was watching He's him, and he never channel. passed over any active runways or anything. He seemed to stay in the grass. Um, he may not have done that after I wasn't looking, but that's what I observed. That's why I didn't get anybody on that. He, um, I don't know if he actually crossed any active runways. I'm not sure about that. But he wasn't leaving. He was speeding up and down the taxiway alpha. Right. Um, There's a goose taking off without clearance currently. Wonderful. And you don't have anybody here to help you take it down, so you're kind of fucked. I have people. They're in training, but I can pull them out if I need an uh, AST gunner to take them down. Um, the goose they're right not going to be on frequency either, so we're not going to be able to talk to them. There's so many people flying without without licenses lately because FAA has had a lack of CFIs. Yeah, and that too. That's another big issue. It's the main thing, dude. I mean, CFIs are a problem, but they're actually scheduling days for that shit, and yeah. training is happening. But it's fucking the bar gate. This is Shark 1 with 9 Actual. We're going to be docked at his house for the time being. Yeah, and that needs to be addressed. We need to bring that back up with about that bar gate because now that it seems like FAA is filling up a little bit better now. Still not in a These great position, but channel. that bar gate never should have been removed. Although the airfield is technically public property, that doesn't mean anybody can just waltz it's on government. it. Here's the thing, here's the thing, is that most people have this impression that because it belongs to the government, it belongs to the people. No. And to an extent, it does, right? That's, the, like, the, you know, still in your it's chopper. only to an extent. And the biggest problem with that is that because the airfield was declared public property, and there's no, there's nothing that actually blocks the G base or direct connection to the airfield. This base is technically public property as well. Right. But you guys and, don't, you guys yeah. don't enforce it that way, and that's yeah, understandable. Right but because of that hole, that humongous hole for a, that was made for the goose, which you guys barely a use anyway, and could take off from the water right there. You know? Yeah, see, and th that's, that's another thing. Hang on, I'm actually on a phone call with uh, Mr. Kane up in the tower currently. Give me just a moment. Okay, 
Well, I'm gonna. Well, what's what's I'm gonna going leave. on? I'm gonna... Go ahead. We have a goose that I'm just, just took off now. from two um, five without notifying I, us, and he's now up in the airspace, right. still not uh, responding to me. Uh, are you near the Jayhawk? Like, get on the ground! You're trespassing me. <laughs> that happened yeah. uh, yesterday or the day before. My brother is like shooting right someone down for me over here because he needed to get in contact with you guys. Hold on. And we just came on because you know nobody was at the hole, and we drove in to find you. And yeah. Well, yesterday I had Nick Patel show up in a full wetsuit, so of course I didn't see his name. Um, I had no idea who he was, and I got back in my head. I was over by those vendors, and he was just standing in front of me in a full wetsuit. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Um, no, no, I, I... He talked to me, and uh, I saw who he was, and I saw the U.S. Marshal he was with. I was like, okay. But I didn't hear anything over radio of them asking, hey, you know, can we come into so CG Base? That's fucking hilarious. You're just like, you're on CG Base. You didn't get permission, chunk. I'm Get usually pretty lenient, like, especially if you're not being aggressive, I'm pretty lenient. But that doesn't mean that if you're unresponsive or don't respond kindly, that it's not going to be an issue. Yeah. Yeah, man, I know I know the Chiefs, uh, all the Coast Guard Chiefs, get super fucking antsy about anybody in this space. Generally, yeah, but I, uh, I have met you before, so I do have your name tag, and with the uniform you're wearing, it's, it gives me a little bit more, uh, peace of mind than just somebody, you know, in, like, a red sweater. Yeah. Um, I'm glad the uniform's comforting. I'd just like to say in the future, be a little bit more careful about that, because till they actually add the DMV shop, these clothes can actually just be made in the clothing factory. Okay. I was not aware of that. I, I kind of figured as much. Same thing with the Tahoes. Until it not the DOT Tahoe. If you see a bright yellow like buggy Tahoe with light bar on the top, that's that's got to be. It's probably me because I'm the only one in the DMV. Right. Okay. It's more than likely, um, a cop or somebody who's actually in the DMV. But if you just see like a normal DMV Tahoe with like the paint scheme that matches this uniform, also be wary oh, because wow, those are on normal right Civ Tahoes. They're not even on unmarked. For slick tops, they're on normal Tahoes. Are you by chance, uh, All right. at somebody's house? Okay, let me go ahead and make contact with the person in the tower, and we can figure out the situation with the goose. The issue being with the goose is that if they're not communicating, then, I mean, there's not a whole lot we can do other than shoot them down, but that seems a bit excessive for somebody who's not breaking any other rules except for not communicating. Transporting a bunch yeah. of supplies, I mean, the thing uh, is, that I know that if, if they're not communicating, then you guys end up on their fucking wing While and they're still not, you know, doing anything. I know control. that that's been acted upon before because at that yeah. point, there's a fucking orange and white chopper next to you. I mean, how are you not? How are you gonna fucking miss that? You know? Yeah. If it's very obvious that we're trying to hail your aircraft and you don't respond to that, then yeah, th that is grounds. But God knows where he is at this point. Are you keeping an eye on that goose? I can't yeah, no, see him. I don't have the radar. Trip, honestly. Um, that's what I'm guessing. It's the only reason he would have taken off without saying anything is if it's a pirate ship. Right, that's my guess. Um, yeah, I'll probably get a deep sea patrol going here in just a moment. I need to grab a co-pilot, and then I will go out there and try and find that. Um, okay, let me make communication with the guy in the tower, calm his nerves a little bit, and, uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the situation. Thanks for coming over here, and, uh, um, yeah. Thanks for not being, like, super fucking antsy about me entering, man. <laughs> I, I was kind of nervous about coming in here again, like I said. Anyways, uh, I'll leave you to it. You have a good one. Yep, you too. Thank you. Okay, so, basically, the situation with this goose is, uh, we saw it fly over. I was talking to Shadow Farrington from the Department of Motor... the tower now. Are you positive it's the same aircraft? Okay. Hang on. User left your channel. Seven one. Is there any aviation personnel currently on base? This is a spot two. I doubt it. Back to use a helicopter. What's up? I guess you didn't hear my intro. Yeah, he's been no one three times. Okay, unlock your Jayhawk so I can. Yep, I'm on a phone call with the air traffic controller currently. 
uh, that Goose just buzzed over the ATC tower. Now he's taken up without clearance. He's unresponsive. He's been warned three times to land the aircraft. I believe he's not on communications. So I'm going to go grab a rifle and we'll have to get up. Oh shit, are you, are you AST trained? I am, but you can't shoot down a goose. It's almost impossible. Same with the Cessna. The oh, crash, shit. pretty much. Yeah, you're right, and we can't do it over I land either. Was. I think that was the uh, FAA ground, dude. Like hell, you can take a pop shot at it, but all they're gonna do is keep flying over. Right. I mean, my only guess would be to make it obvious that we're trying to hail him and see if he lands, but if he doesn't land, we have no real repercussions over it, and that's that's an issue. And what the what is this yacht doing right here? I don't know. It's 10:43 for me. I believe I'm gonna go eat. Um, okay. But, I don't have uh, radar, so I cannot see this goose when it's not on top of me in the airfield. I know the other ATC guy down there. I forgot his name. Uh, he can see him. Oh, it's going 182 miles per hour. Yeah, I mean it's it's highly unlikely. My my only option really with that situation is to try to get him to land through being making it obvious that we're trying to hail him down. But if he's not in communications, and we can't really shoot him down because he appears to be staying over land at this point, plus, you know, with the fact that we can barely shoot down a goose or a Cessna, so we get incredibly lucky, there's not a whole lot we can do. But yeah. I will try to rectify the situation in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, you you can go ahead and eat and such. Yeah, yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, but this is what I'm going to suggest. Get someone that's AST trained, so Nathan, because he likes to do that a lot, I believe. Go into the air, find out where he is, try to radio over him in Lubbock Air Traffic. If he doesn't listen, allow Nathan to start taking pop shots. If if he magically hits a shot, holy hell, congratulations to him, he got knocked down. If not, he should wait, uh, the goose should start getting really bored of getting shot at or getting chased and possibly land. That's my two main things there. That's how I yeah. definitely would hit, slow down. I was not aware what Nathan was going to do the crap out of them. Yeah. And fly by you and flare them. <laughs> kind of funny. Right, but I wish you good luck with that. I'm going to sit, like, right there, but I'm probably going to disconnect while I'm in this thing. Okay, that's fine. I wish you good luck. I believe my helicopter is still locked. If it's not, inform me before I leave, and I will hopefully lock it. Alrighty. Alright, so we have a couple of options here as far as this goose goes. Um, the goose and the Cessna, we cannot really shoot down. Not to mention, we cannot shoot it down over land. If they're not communicating over frequency, then we cannot make contact. So the most that we can really do at this point is to go and try to hail them forcibly by flying really close to them. Um, I, I can take up our senior chief petty officer. He is AST trained, and he is capable of trying to take pop shots at the, heli or the, the aircraft. However, that aircraft is very hard to shoot down and damn near impossible. Well, at this point, you are on the phone, right? Not on the Yes, I'm the on the radio. phone. Okay, yeah, at this point, I would go up and just make it a show of force. Um, I don't think anything else is needed. He doesn't need to be shot down. I mean, he buzzed the tower. He went inverted over town at about, you know, 50, maybe 100 feet. Um, I would guess he's he's going to cause more problems. So, I, I don't know. It's really up to you guys what you want to do. Yeah, that that's basically that's basically it at this point. And, I mean, and, um, obviously, we don't want to shoot him down, especially not over town, because then we will have an explosion right. in the middle of town. Um. <laughs> However, we we will do something. Do you currently know his location? Uh, I do not. Uh, however, uh, the other FAA member that's down on the tarmac does have a radar, so he can give you its aircraft number eight. Uh, is what he'll see on his radar, and he can tell you where it's at when it's not near the field. I'm going to go ahead and broadcast on the frequency that uh, CG will be launching uh, Jayhawk to go deal with the goose. See if maybe that can't get his attention. Okay. How much aviator glasses if you guys need them? Nathan, are you up to go in a Jayhawk? Maybe sorry, I'm calling an A. It's about to school tomorrow, and it's already four in the morning. Okay, that's fine. Sorry. Oh, no, that, that's, Hello, Cora. that's fine. There's uh just a goose that's buzzing around and taking like inverted flights at 100 meters over Lubbock. Okay, I'm in. Unresponsive. Oh, right. co oh yeah, Bye, let's Cora. go. I'm a co-pilot. Come on, John. Bye, Lancer. Apparently, I'm being summoned as well. Co pilot. I am a co pilot. <laughs> Myself or somebody else has to grab a rifle. There's not a rifle in my Jayhawk currently. Buy one. Rifle in that Jayhawk. 
Is there? I don't think it's unlocked. I'll run copilot. Also in the back. Extrovert. Extra work. I've got these discipline crewmans as well. There you go. Oh, you're giving me an extra work. I thought you were asking for one. No, no, no. I'm giving you one. Sure, I guess. This is Shark One. We are officially RTB. Where's the Shark One? Anything. Lubbock Tower, this is Charlie Golf 6046. We'll be taking an emergency takeoff from CG base heading southbound C. Do you have a location on that goose? Charlie Golf 6046, you are cleared oh, emergency ascent yeah. from CG. I am unaware of <laughs> aircraft number 8's location. Stand by yeah, for one moment. <laughs> <laughs> See? What? Yeah. Um, they. I'm waiting for a location from uh, FA currently on that goose. They have him on the radar, but he's not near the airfield currently. Give you a location for it, can't they? Yes, they can. But the person that responded in the tower does not currently have uh, white listings, so they don't have the radar. There is someone on the ground though that does. Uh, yeah, I know. Who. You know All right, hold up, wait. Um, Coast Guard. Oh. Shit, how do I change to yelling? I forgot. From your channel. Hey, it's control member. tab muscle. Yeah. Remember, Beach Valley's to the right side. Coast Guard, the Ryan Gallup. Be on ground. ground. Ryan Gallup here, go ahead. Can you give us location on any aircraft in there, or either? Size the one right next to CG base. User left your channel. I got a, an aircraft on the bridge between the two islands. Is it currently moving? We're looking for a Negative. goose aircraft number eight, I believe. I'm showing aircraft number eight um, hovering just outside CG base. Us. That would be us. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. We go check. Okay, I'm currently back, I'm back. not seeing any uh, aircraft moving other than you guys. Um, he did not put it down at Lubbock Field, so he must have put it down at one of the remote landing areas. Copy that. Ryan is saying that there is no active aircraft uh, except for ourselves currently, so, and, and it's not going to be the same number. You can land it. The, they said they might have landed no, at the island. No, it's been more than five minutes now. Last I saw him, he was heading west, northwest out of here, uh, inverted over Silverton. Okay, I'm going to hang up this call. You can talk to me on frequency. I have three different channels going in my head right now. Yep. I'm call with. He's in the call with uh, Jeff Kane. He's in the tower right now. He said that he's probably at the. Uh, uh, he can land on the islands. That's a runway right there. The road is long enough for a runway. Okay. That's where they said the only other aircraft was. Uh, I got okay. a aircraft Done. number seven uh, moving uh, near runway three zero along the coast. That would be Charlie Golf. Where the islands are? Yeah, okay, I see him. I was looking for him.
I haven't gone to those okay, islands yeah. yet. You, Charlie Gulf, you went from aircraft number 7 to aircraft number 9. So, uh, it seems that there's some sort of matrix issue here. Charlie, hey, we're gonna go check out the uh, islands. Yeah, that is now labeled as aircraft number 10, and it is between the two islands. He's on the as long as for a runway for any sense move. Is that a goose underneath the a goose right there. underneath the, the goose. little road? Yeah. The goose. I'll tell you know, tell Dark One to see if they can look at it. They're below us. Is anyone still on CG frequency, or are we all on the radio? I can tell them. I can tell them. That was the general direction that goose was heading last time. This is Charlie Gov. We believe we have eyes on the goose at the private islands just underneath the road. vehicle. There's a vehicle moving on the top. You see it? Are you up there? A firm, we're in guard human right now. Ten four, and here you go. Do you, uh, do you see that? Car moving, Zane? We are yes. very close, we'll be there shortly. Yeah, I see the car just went to the uh, leftmost island over there, it's still moving it's around. It's coming back around. Was that a white CRX? Mm -hmm. We advise we have a white CRX on a, passing the bridge now, going on to the Babylon Island. 10 4. Tower, it's going to be coming down to that cruise. Do we know who it is? Uh, this is the goose that was buzzing by CG base. We think this is on another aircraft. Yeah, the white CRX is just turned around from going down the dock. He's just driving around the island though. He's going on the bridge now. I didn't even get a car up there. Oh, there's garages. Oh. Isn't this next island? This is Nick and Walker's island. Carry him on, you still have bike? Okay, uh, go around to the island so we can see if we still have eyes. We're gonna check right now. And they're not allowed to be on this Use island, there's a written channel. document. She laid out. On foot somewhere. Sullivan, that's right. I don't have to spy three. Is there any. Is that helicopter? Is that plane on the. Checking now. I see it. Same. Your channel. I see the CRX now. I didn't catch it in between the rocks there. Oh, we'll close to it so we can see it.
I can't see around the rocks right now. I don't have any warm bodies right now at this time. Championships. Yeah, I think there's someone. Is there someone swimming? Yeah, hold up. Uh, someone swimming. Someone swimming. Tell Guardian One. There's someone coming up. Or tell Shark One. Charlie got six zero four six one two. Hold up. Tell Shark One. Zane, hold the helicopter Coming up cell. to the goose. Hold the helicopter cell. Zane, auto hover. It's two people. Auto hover. The Guardian Zane. one, the shark one. There's two people coming up to the goose on the behind it right now. Be advised, they may be armed. I'm already in it. There's two people coming. There's, they're just getting in the goose now. Yeah, it's on auto hover now. You have eyes on the two people. Just head, head to left shift on auto hover, okay? Copy, we make contact. Go and increase out. Get it one, get down low. Advise, this is considered trespassing. No one's allowed to make the tells of Ireland and Walker's on. We have a written document for all this. Can't use the uh, camera because it's in water, so that's fine. Like, the reason it says it's in water. Okay, we got it now. Taking off? Yeah, it's pulling up. Sullivan in there, guys. Don't let that get away. Yep, they started up the engine. They're, they're destroying the RBM, watch out. Man, they're stuck on the dock. Back off. The DMV guy. Him again? The DMV. I'm seeing him a lot lately. Why the heck did my uh paper stop? Sullivan, you okay? I'm good. Contact him over ATC. He's been non responsive on the frequency. You've already tried? Yes, sir. I'm not sure if you tried when he got back into the goose. I have not tried Put since he got back in. I'll try it. This is Guardian 1, United States Coast Guard to the goose. The code 4, what? Uh, the description of the people who got into the goose that was uh, in question, one of them is wearing a DMV outfit with a sombrero, the other one is wearing a white shirt, black pants, uh, a Rangemaster belt, and a white hat. The rogue goose, it's matching the exact description of the people inside. Did you say they're rogue? Rogue, yes. Yes. That's why we're stopping them. Oh my gosh. Why would he let them go? We weren't just stopping it for nothing. Oh User joined your channel. Then. I'm to try to contact again. This is United States Coast Guard, Guardian 1 to the goose that is flying away from the islands. Please stop now or you will be shot upon.
careful when it tries to take off. This is the United States Coast Guard to the Goose. They're on land. Chuck, there's a truck, there's a truck. There's a truck. Other way, other way, other way. Are you on the shark one? Looks like they just landed. Please, please. They might be getting in the truck. Four. Contact SD since I can get him over here too. Coast Guard, the SD? Alpha Alpha 3 0 to Guardian 1. Can I get you guys that grid reference? Okay, 0 3 2 0 8 5. Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Send it. Guardian 1, uh, be advised, I believe the pilot of the rogue aircraft is one Eric Stanford, manager of the DMV. Is the, if you That's can, would thing. you identify the pilot as somebody wearing DMV uniform with a uh, sombrero? Currently have a rogue aircraft trying to take off. He's just fun on Twitter. It is the DMV. I'll put. Yeah, he's the manager of the DMV. He's okay. Air DMV so corrupt, man. So are we arresting? Doesn't or mean he's okay. He still took off without clearance and was unresponsive. Tell him exactly. Not. You want me to go ahead and land next to him over there? Watch your ETA, Tony. All right. Goes in the ground. In the grinds. One. What's your ETA, Tony SD? Lubbock Air is facing the Chug Off 6046. We'll be touching down. He's taking off. He's taking off. He's taking off. He's taking off. Don't touch yet. Don't touch yet. User left. Disregard. That would disregard. Just turned his engine on. Did you not? They've always been one. No. Yeah. Waving off of the uh. I don't care. Just drop wait, SD's in route. Just wait a second. Okay, just came out on Twitter. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Please, still have a gold. Alright, alright. Lubbock Travis, it's like 06046. We'll be putting wheels down at Stony Creek. Okay, we got 6046, tower copy. Wheels down at Stony Creek. Go from Guardian. If you watch Twitter, uh, Eric said the uh, gentleman here on the shore or at the island was zombie, but he was not zombie. He was. Last aircraft coming, come again. He was unable to speak uh, when we questioned him. He was nodding his head yes or no. Um, after multiple requests to put his hands on his head, he did not, so I did detain him for our safety. Now, if somebody could contact uh, Mr. Eric, I, I don't know if he's FAA or not, and see what's going on. Currently, have him stopped over on the outside. User joined your channel. You can see Guardians on location on your map. User joined your channel. Temple, can anybody confirm if uh, Eric is Eric is, is FAA or DMV? He is the uh, director of DMV, from my understanding. For my concern. Okay. That does not allow the no, you know, the situation going on here right now. Alpha Alpha three zero to Lubbock Tower. I gotta go. Alpha Alpha three zero, go ahead. 
This is Alpha Alpha 3 Zero requesting taxi via Alpha to runway 25 for immediate takeoff. You are cleared via Alpha to runway 25. I'll go ahead and clear you for takeoff now. Most of the buttons in the plane are like freaking out right now. Yes, go. Uh, what were you doing over by CG base earlier? User left your channel. Trying to get the airport so I can leave. I'm just get anywhere so I can leave. I gotta go deal with stuff. I'm gonna go pick someone up. I'm just yeah, like took in off from uh, the airport without ATC clearance. So uh, it was a rogue airport. aircraft, it's presumably. Hang on, I've got a very important question. Did any of those rounds hit damage your engine? Uh, no, none of them did actually. The I think it's broken. They think yeah, no, I you guys shot at a bunch too. Is we're on the point. Taking off, I made my calls. Not from the water, but taking off from the airport. User joined your channel. Yeah, I told you were rogue aircraft, so. Hmm. I gave you us an exact description with your hat and your DMV outfit. Interesting. Aside from the fact that there was no call out from the airport, there was also a fly over the ATC tower and then an inverted flight over uh, Lubbock. Sir, at the summons, you read your rights. You're a German sound, anything you say can and will be used in the court of law. Your right to an attorney, if you cannot afford one, will be appointed to you by the state. Understand these rights as I amend to you. Hungry. Understand these rights, sir. And, um. I'm like in my head, but thank you. Nine action, five two. About two seven. Ooh, he's back. Sorry, what's your ID? Sorry, Sandy, I'm sorry. Did I run into you? This is 5-3, Sandy. Yeah, sure. Is there any way to confirm somebody comeback logs or what? That gentleman we had detained, can I see your ID? Um, has now pooped after we... What we have is actually... I did not, because I was trying to politely, uh, without... Oh. The name of the suspect uh, was Kaysen Kanopic. Right there. Kaysen Kanopic. Give me a second. Can we see the name of them? Stand up. Uh, guys, we got a civilian helicopter landing behind us. You guys, aware of any kind of civilian helicopter landing? Tell, uh... Oh, that is Zane, not mine. Get in the, that is not mine. Get in the, get in the frequency me. and tell them to wave off. Who is this? Those guys aren't with me, I just want that on the record. This is Charlie Golf 6046 to the civilian helicopter landing on Stony Creek Beach. Please depart immediately. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, but. Brian Gout to Paul Grayson. Black, it could be a matrix issue where he did have an issue. Um, he was compliant. He was. When I asked him if he had a voice box issue, he s nodded it or shook his head no. Uh, but he, d he chose not User to speak. User entered your channel. User and joined I your did channel. Ask, you know, a few different User questions. Your when he nodded his head or shook his head. And yeah, at that so point, I, I said, could I you please put your hand on your head just um, so we can, uh, question by question for the time you know, safely uh, check out what's User going on. Channel, we're we're going to detain you momentarily. And yeah, once he, he was an either uh, unable so or non-compliant, we're then putting I his hands on his head. So at that point, I didn't put cuffs on him. And it was probably 30 seconds to a minute later, and he just pulled me. Oh, yeah, give me one second. I'm going to assume this one. He may have zombied. Say again. He may have his own Sorry, it's like a million mm -hmm. voices. What was that? Okay. Because uh, when I was checking my thing, he's actually in Lubbock at the bank doing stuff there. Maybe send one of the CG guys over there or something. 
Nine actual to Guardian One. Now what's going so on? The landing gate's at an airport or a landing pad. Nine actual Guardian One. Ground unit. Somebody. Yeah. This is seven one. Go ahead. What's going on with the Jayhawk and the Goose on the beach here? Currently, the individual User with the DMV channel. is being detained and questioned. Uh, we are standing by. Oh, I know. It's just that I'm in charge of handing out licenses, so I handed out all of them as a test. Me and Shadow are the only ones with the voting. There was another civilian bell who landed uh, right next to us, so that is being dealt with as well. User left your channel. Lucky they haven't shot. Yeah, actually, that would be actually pretty good. Hey, if I can talk to Patrick real quick. Hey, sir, I'm gonna finish processing you at this time. If I can talk to Patrick real quick. Uh, yeah, but I'm just gonna have to give all your stuff to stay here. Thank you. Give me a second, I'm just gonna look something up really quick. Did you hurt yourself, kid? I got a bruise. What did we learn? Just don't jump to off. To not sprint boat. off of the boat. Thank you. <laughs> hey, John. How are you doing, Captain? Good, sir. That gentleman in the sombrero, I know yeah. he's requesting to speak to me. Do you want to speak to him in my place while Nathan, uh, Mr. Black, uh... Where is he? Somewhere in there. Uh, yeah. User joined presenting. your channel. Yes, please. Sounds good. Hey, hey Captain. How I'm you doing, Mr. Get on my head for one second. Oh, I didn't, sir. Uh, hello, hello. How's it going, Sally? See your chief. Oh, hang on. We Sound answer. Uh, you want to talk to the captain? You said. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, the captain basically. He's, me, he's still detained. I uh, want me to speak for him, so what can I help you with? All right. I was actually going to hand Patrick his voting license just in case. We're just going to see how Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to pull the cups well, off him. I guess I can't really do that then. I'm going to tell him that. There you go, sir. Ready? If you could stand up. So we can speak politely. There we go. Hey, Captain, he says he needs to hand you a boating license. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. give me a minute. Yep. Take over here. All right. Um, I, I understand you probably had some uh, head issues because I, I did see you. I, I know voice box wise you were having issues, but you're yeah, still really nodding. Right um, there, and I apologize. Yeah, I, mean, really do. I, I mean, hope I'm you understood why we did I handcuff you because we were unsure. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Okay, and, and I thank so, you very much. I just wanted minutes. to make sure it was clear that, yeah. that, that it, those are private that's islands. That's definitely a big thing. And uh, yeah. that, that's all we were checking on. I went flying earlier and got oh, scared. Oh, all right, all right. And just, just yeah, and, and that's fine. Thought, that's oh, fine. You were, but no, I didn't. You guys well, were good completely you, uh, compliant, and you stopped have a no disrespect, sir. Yeah, I was basically all just right, trying yeah, to get Hey, don't get me wrong. The owners of those islands, if they were awake, they'd probably... Very greatly uh, give tours. Well, to to and then I tried to stop right, yeah, I understand that. I didn't, I didn't know what was, was, was out there. I just kind of saw it out there, and I thought yeah. I would yeah. explore a little bit. Well, yeah, um, I, 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 I don't blame you because the the they, they are pretty uh, neat. One twenty six, yeah. Um, but uh, I guess you just forgot this. When, we, to when we showed up, I was on one twenty five. It seemed a little weird, so that's why. I think you had an issue with user your left brain, channel. Uh, or user the matrix, left your channel. that's why we had to take uh, precautions. Yeah. Alright, then hey, I Shadow, are you actually nothing against you, sir. So, you're free to go. Alright, okay. awesome, thank you very much. Alright, thank you, sir. No, I didn't do it. Or I was thinking that we needed a higher DMV legal rep. That works. Yeah. <laughs> and a lawyer for free. <laughs> yeah, we got like a DMV lawyer coming in from the sky. Dude. And aren't you a Swiss Army knife of the island? Pretty much. Alrighty, sir. So at this time, you're going to be currently charged with uh, landing inside city limits or restricted airspace due to the fact that you come up here without no clearance from FAA. 
um, which is upgraded to a third degree felony due to the fact that the failure to listen to any FAA or FLA inspections warning over ATC. You also have um, a class B misdemeanor, which is failure to comply with ATC or FAA officials, as you are not over the ATC network uh, rate frequency and you are not listening to us. How do you plead to these charges? Um, hold on. What was that first one? Landing in an unauthorized area? Uh, I'll just do this. Landing inside city limits or restricted airspace. User left your channel. It's not my problem, sir. I'm trying to break the law. Do we have shots being fired off? And I mean, he could have stopped in the water back there when we were shooting at him. But really he can't stop in the water. I actually tried. I'll go unlock my plane and you can try stopping it in the water with the engines running. Couldn't have done it before. User disconnected from your channel. No, I pulled up on this beach because it wasn't stopping in the water. That's the only reason I pulled up on this beach was because okay, it well, wasn't stopping in the water. I'm just going to ask you how to plead to these charges. Uh, not guilty. User left your channel. Alrighty. Do you wish to accept the plea bargain at this time? Uh, what is the plea bargain? Uh, I could... Uh, User right joined now, your channel. For max time, you're looking at 30k fine and 60 months. Uh, I could go with both of those for a plea bargain if you're willing to accept one. Third degree felony is staying. Sorry about that. Uh, not guilty. Ready? Ready. Uh, SD, you want to transport him to the DOC? I'll come with you guys. And when's my trial? See if there's a lawyer available. Do you want to? I'm, I mean, a prosecutor or a judge. Do you want this lawyer as your lawyer? Or? Same kind of thing. Do you yeah. Do you want a unit transport available? If not, I'll waive the ride. Yeah, I mean, the problem is you really can't stop the geese in it. the water. The only way you can do it is if you get the reset plane velocity option on your dashboard, and that doesn't show up very often. Yeah. Button contact. I complied to the best of my abilities by pulling up on the beach because it wasn't stopping in the water. We stopped over there when we were shooting at you. User yeah, left user you joined your channel. We can talk about this in court. We haven't. All right, we're just gonna yeah, transport yeah. him. I'd also like to bring in whatever active ATC member is on board because it sounded gentlemen. to me like he was basically my just pretty Sheriff. much fine with it. Gentlemen, my name is Sergeant Lawrence with the Fish and Island Sheriff's Department. We're going to be transporting you today. I understand you guys might be argumentative with what's going on here. You will have your day in court, so please just cooperate with us while we transport Grab you up there. Again. All right, good. Uh, Mr. Grayson, can I speak with you for a second? Are you guys going to be bringing charges against him today, or are you going to be letting him go until his court date? Oh, by the way, hi, Solo. There's, there's multiple judges on the How you doing, Mr. Barrington? Um, I'm not part of this. Uh, you'd have to speak to the SD officers. Yeah, I was just saying hi. I'm, I'm actually not a part of this myself. I'm here to represent Hey, Eric. Patrick. I'm bar certified. Yes, sir. Eric. Have you ever tried stopping the geese in the water? 10-4. Uh, I don't fly, sir. Mr. Stanford? Okay. Deputy Grayson here is going to be your transporting officer. Uh, Sergeant, do you know if we're going to be able to do the case? Uh, hey, Mr. Stanford, I'm just going to have to stand over here and get multiple set judges up available at this time. Yeah, you are can take a look are, at all of us. Say hi. Are multiple judges? Hey, hey, these okay. are flexible handguns. Well, Did you notice that? Oh, what? <laughs> if I wait, what? That's when you guys flexible. Know what just happened. Like, right. User joined your so channel. Minutes, user uh, disconnected from your channel. Put your hands up, sir. The... He's yeah. already cuffed. I just needed here. Uh, he gets 10 to 15 minutes yeah, before thing. he gets brought before a judge. I have a couple things yeah, I need to do in my head, again. and then I can uh, go to the I courthouse gotta, or wherever you want me to meet There probably him. will just be, uh, I'll send you all the evidence and everything if, once we talk to the judge. Okay. 
Um, right, we'll just, I'd also just like to bring that, in the, whatever so ATC gonna... member is active right now. I'd like to talk to him. Mr. Use Stanford, if you want to walk with me so I don't drag you across the sand. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to that car over there on the grass. Okay. To the right, though. Who's here for the ATC video? User joined your channel. And who's the ATC that gave you the description of that guy? Remote? Because we're gonna need so him for a witness. There was two ATC who are currently know, active. The one who gave the description, I believe, was Ryan Gallup. He was the one who is trained and has whitelisting. The other was yeah, that goose so I can talk to him. Kind of the, kind of the Jayhawk, yeah. I'm not sure if he's still currently active. There was two ATC active. The one I believe who gave the description was Ryan Gallup. The other one was uh, Jeff Kane. And he is a trainee currently. Coast Guard, the Ryan Gallup. Oh, no, I don't in front of him. Don't give me any problems with it. United States Coast Guard, the Ryan Gallup. Oh, you can only tell like I said, I don't know which one. Ryan Gallup, the Ryan Gallup is. Were you the one who gave us the description of the DMV guy with the sombrero? That is correct. It was me. Do you have any GoPro evidence of this? Yeah. Your hand, do you mind if he used it as a witness? I do not have GoPro, but I can tell you the description of both him and his passenger. Alright, uh, do you mind if we use it as a witness? They're probably going to call you on a way for a witness. Yeah, sure. Alrighty, uh, I'll meet you at DOC. Are you at CG base right now? Negative, I'm, uh, I'm talking to uh, SD right now. They're transporting him. This is like, it's going to be a huge case because if he gets found guilty on the charges, he may go to, or he may get fired as manager from DMV. Okay, yeah, I, I can definitely testify for exactly what I saw and heard over the comms. Okay. Alrighty, I'll talk to you at DSC. Alright, I'm on my way. I'm just I'm just saying like you do recognize he's probably going to be there is all GoPro all this stuff so I understand up his point of view because if he gets found guilty user joined your channel I mean, that's his DMV manager stripped away right there. <laughs> I mean, like, I should be happy about that, right? Just throw down the case. Just like, oh, I, I sorry, feel like I should be happy about that, but at the, like I said, he's a buddy of mine. I can't fucking bail on him like that. Okay, well, I have just to get transported to the case. Channel. Take the uh, gifts back. Um, ready, uh, like I, I have said, to... I'm going to have to go into my head for like 15 minutes, so ready? if you guys yeah, that's get That's fine. I'm up. just going to process everything, and then when you get there, I'll send you all the evidence. Nathan... Or Zane or uh, where, Lancer. Where is there gonna be? Am I gonna meet you guys at the courthouse or what? Let's see, most likely. That's okay. bringing them. Like I said, I'm gonna go into my head. So your best bet is to meet is to reach me um, on the Teamspeak app. Okay. Uh, Zane, can you send me your GoPro of that? Incident? As soon as I finish the uh, live feed, it will take about 45 minutes or so to process. At that point, I can send you a timestamp. Nathan, can you give me any quicker or no? That's a bit longer. Are you Lancer? That's a negative. I'm in, I was inside the helicopter staring at a uh, Yeah, okay. I, I, rec I, I have my GoPro on, like, I think after. Um, I have the entire situation from the time I woke up today until now. So I can I, provide I, it to yeah, you, but it's, it's not going to be super quick. Do we have time? Oh, yeah, Cora. Don't worry. Start I'll watch the whole thing. Mind. Yeah, I know you will, John. <laughs> we can set a trial date with evidence then. I'm going to take the gifts back to base and go ahead off with the night. I'm, I'm going to ride with SD back. Lorenzo? We ready to head out? Uh, oh, no, yeah. he's still over there. How you doing, Mr. Kip? Doing good, Zane. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Just uh, waiting for all this to blow over so I can head to bed for the night. Right. I don't think I'm going to need to be a witness as long as I have my GoPro. I mean, that's enough witnesses I'm going to get, right? 
I'm, I kind of I want to watch it. I just don't want any shots to be done. I just literally just want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know where to find it. It's a, it's a class About class 45 year, minutes after I uh, head to bed, it'll be up. Is that how long it takes? It depends on how long the stream is. Usually, if it's long. if it's Boy, more than like two hours or so, it'll be about 45 minutes. If it's less than that, I mean, you can watch it before then, but the timestamps are all screwed up because it only processes like two hours of the video, and then the rest of it processes at the end. So you can yeah, probably find the situation. It just might get cut off. Why don't you uh, put on Twitch? I used to do it. I used to do live feed to right. three different services, but now I only do it to YouTube. Uh, User left your channel. Do it on Twitch and you get it right away. I think the User joined your channel. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, it, it comes up immediately. It's just, it won't be fully rendered at the highest quality um, until it's fully processed. You can't have a felony as a... And if I timestamp something before it's processed, it's possible that it'll change by like 15 minutes or so when it processes the rest of it. Wasn't stopping like we said. We gave him multiple warnings over ATC, and he just didn't stop until he got to. So what's the point of being a DM, DMV manager? What's so great about that? I I have no idea. Um, I'm whispering, but I I, I think at this point, even even if the whole ATC thing falls through, and Ryan, it maybe it is the wrong guy. <laughs> After being what shot time? at and everything, he's still not stopping, not responding on frequency. That's still charges. Mm -hmm. I mean, even even if say say this yeah, is the wrong goose, and we just chased down the wrong person, Definitely. and ATC confirmed it, and we just followed the wrong lead. Still, why would you not stop when you're being shot at? Yep, evading or a uh, failure to um, comply with a lawful order. Yeah. Either way, um, User I swear. Oh, just heard like thirty thousand voices. <laughs> it always happens like this though I'm like okay because usually about 11 o'clock I go to sleep or at least get heading that direction because of course I gotta work in the morning but then I always get stuck in some kind of situation for like a half an hour after that Are you hearing that on the radio too? Yeah, I hear it. I didn't put it on speaker, so it might have been Nathan who put it on speaker. Oh, okay, it's coming from the helicopter. Yeah, it is. I thought it was my radio. I'm like, what the fuck is <laughs> Well, as soon as Nathan is good to go, we can go ahead and RTB and uh, be out of here for the night. Thank you, by the way, for being my distraction at work all this morning. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I was just like, I was probably like literally on that chat for like, it was like two, three hours. Oh yeah, at least. I mean, it was at least like half the day. And I was just like, <laughs> I, was like I just noticed I haven't watched a single YouTube video. That's when I kind of went quiet. I'm like, <laughs> no, Lee, this is Ryan I went quiet because I, uh, I had to actually like work. <laughs> I mean, I had been kind of like in and out of work, but it was so hard to get focused today. I swear. Where did everyone go? I don't know. Seven one two five three. User left your channel. User joined your channel. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's Coast Guard. Where did right. Captain go? That's I, I don't what I said. know. I'm gonna, maybe they're in the goose. They're not in the goose. Not in the goose. Shots fired at DOJ. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I mean, I can't drive the RBM by myself, can I? I mean, technically, yeah, you could. We've done it before. I was driving with Captain. 
No, I'm saying I've done it before. I've seen, a, I've seen an apprentice out there during an active situation. Yeah, I think that was. I think that was kind of a special situation though, because he was the only one on base. When we needed somebody in a boat. Oh, was that you that was with us? For that? I, I think so. I'm pretty sure. I think that was us. Yeah. Because that was on uh, PSU patrol with somebody. That was when I was still a seaman, I believe. Seven one to five three. Alright, where the hell did they go? I know one of them. Seven one and nine actual. Nine actual. Where did you all go to? We're still sitting here next to the Jayhawk, myself and five two, along with uh, Seaman Apprentice Kip. Stay there. Stay there. I'll be right back. Zane, what's your Copy. To give me that good pro footage. As soon as I close the live feed, it will be up. However, the entirety of it may not be. Uh, Timestamps will not be correct until about 45 minutes after. That's fine. I just just send me it as soon as you get it up. Solid copy. I would close the feed now and restart it, but the issue with that is I'd have to wait like five minutes, otherwise it's going to be uh, all together. Yeah. Oh. oh, what the fuck? Yeah, right. Oh, so magic. they literally did poof. We did I poof. Like, I like literally looked one way and turned back. Or yeah. Like, what the hell? We did did you get kidnapped already? <laughs> no. I turned my back right. for a second. Zane... Mr. Lancer, please take the Jayhawk back to base. Christian and I will take the RBM back to base. Copy that, sir. RTB. I'll fly. Oh, boy. <laughs> Can we co-pilot? Yeah, go for it. I'm a dirty aviation now. All right, don't worry. This is Shark 1. We are RTB. I'll help you push all the buttons. User left your channel. Please start. Yes. So <laughs> Every just, time like, I'm just button. like, please, please work. So if I start pushing all these random buttons, would you get mad? It'd be a little upsetting when the Jayhawk turns off mid-flight. Like switch battery. Yeah, yeah, um, actually you can switch the battery <laughs> um, during flight, it doesn't really mess with anything, but then it makes shutting it down a massive pain in the ass. What about the APU generator? Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Do that? Don't uh, do that. <laughs> wait until you lift off? Got it. Lubbock Tower, be advised, it's like 06046, we'll be departing from Stony Creek Beach back en route to CG Base. Or is that turning off APU control? You want to go ahead and let, well, he already knows we're going RTB. Yeah. I'll just do it. This is Guardian 1, you are RTB. I wonder if they locked that plane. Um, I believe it was. I looked in the windows and I didn't see anything come up to get in. Are you going to tour the, the cutter? Maybe. Dude, I can't wait until we get that thing. Right? It's been a long time coming. <laughs> I want like a giant cannon in the front, so like, every time there's like a bank robbery, or DOC seems just like bombard it. <laughs> User left your channel. I'm pretty sure ATC oh, is I, I off now. Good. Joined your channel. User left your channel. Do you like sushi? Mmm, yeah, some. Lubbock air traffic, be advised. It's like up 6046, putting wheels down at CG base. User joined your channel. I 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I have like an unhealthy fixation on sushi. It's pretty cool they put down the uh, advanced repelling on this right. on this uh, island. Wow, that was terrible. Hold up. It's quietly being judged. As a chief warrant officer now, I, I need to make sure I get it on the H. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll look <laughs> bad. Who's Jay Hawkins like, on Helipad 1? Not mine. Just land it vertically. <laughs> okay. Ignition. And transponder. Standby. Alright, you're good to get out. Activating door hatch. Oh wait, fuck me. I'm gonna have to move this thing back off of off a of helipad. I'm actually gonna have to put this thing off of a jelly a jelly pad. God damn it, a heli a pad. <laughs> a jelly pad. Yeah, a jelly pad. You have to the coast guard. Well, I have to get off the heli pad because I'm getting ready to go to bed. Oh. Oh. You guys are back already. Mm-hmm. Huh. Who's in skill check? Seven one will be moving Guardian One off of the helipad and heading to bed for the night. Ten four of the night. Ten four. Can you repeat that, please? Hey there, Rod. Kind of came into a little bit of a bad time. I'm getting ready to get off of here for the night, actually. Uh, but uh, I will probably be back around, hopefully earlier tomorrow. Lubbock Airspace, be advised, it's Charlie, it's Charlie Golf 6046 will be airborne over CG base. User left your channel.
firing range is going live. Rip. User joined your channel.